Hey everybody, it's Kukiri Kino 7 and where the hell have I been? Okay, I have a bit of explanation to do because, well, okay, take two by the way. Well, you see, last year when I always started this Let's Play of A Link to the Past, um, well, around, cr I was I was Let's Playing it due to the fact that A Link Between Worlds was uh, re uh, released, right? So, it was a way to pay tribute to the original game of A Link to the Past, because it's a really great game. <laughs> However, around Christmas, I got A Link Between Worlds, so I kinda got distracted. But, I'm back now, and we're gonna finish this Let's Play, because... In my opinion, A Link to the Past is one of the best Zelda games. It's right up there with Majora's Mask. So, we're gonna give it the praise that it deserves. So, let's get underway. In the last episode, we took on the second dungeon and defeated it in one video, actually. And in this episode, we're gonna do some prep work before we go to the third dungeon. So, let's get going. So, we're gonna start off by going northeast of Hyrule because we're gonna go beyond the uh, potion shop and we're gonna get something there. If you remember back to uh, when we were in Kakariko Village, we talked to a guy who went to the waterfall and met a fairy of some sort. So we're gonna head there. And why am I walking? Oh, that's why. Ow. Ah, it feels so good to play this game again. All the buttons and everything. Get out of my way. I can lift stuff now. What do you say about that? Alright, uh... I gotta stop stummering and such, and my arrows are equipped, gotta change that. This game always starts you with the arrows automatically equipped when you come back anyway, so. But we're gonna stop by the potion shop because, remember, free samples! Thank you. Alright. Onward. See this giant green rock? We can lift it. And go beyond the waterfall area. Okay, so, there's a chew there. Get that guy. Die. And we're gonna bash into these rocks. And let's just avoid these guys to cut time. There we are. Now if we come over here, there's all kinds of water around us. You remember Link can't swim exactly, so if we come up here, there are shallows that we can walk- a shallow end of the water that we can walk on. So, oh, watch out for the whirlpools. Those are Zoras. Back then, Z Zoras were evil. Oops, fell into the water. Get out of here. Oop. Dang it. Yeah, I don't want to hurt the Zoras. Because they're nice in the new, uh, newer Zelda games. Actually, they brought back the original Zoras in Link Between. I'm spoiling everything. I think we want to take the most bottom path. Yeah, right. Okay. The most bottom path, because if we come up here... Whoa, giant Zora. Whoa, what do you want, little man? Do you have something to ask me? I want the flippers. Whoa, but I don't just give flippers away for free. I sell them for 500 rupees a pair. What do you do? Pay 500 rupees, because we totally have it. Wahaha! One pair of flippers coming up. I will give you a free bonus with your purchase. I will let you use the magic waterways of the sea folk, which link lakes and wet rivers. When you see a world, we'll dive into it, and you never know where you'll surface. Wahaha! And we get the Zora flippers. I was gonna say slippers for some reason. With these, you should be able to swim even in deep water. And lo and behold, we can. We can swim now. If you're playing the Game Boy uh, Advance version, you can hit the B button to dive. It doesn't have that much of a purpose, but you know. Alright, so come over over here. And a new heart container, because I found another heart piece. Alright. Down the waterfall we go. Oh, avoid those whirlpools as they appear up here, because those are just Zoras, obviously. Alright, so now that we have our flippers, we can jump into the water over here, and beyond the waterfall, a fountain, hmm. a mysterious pond. Won't you throw something in? All right, let's throw an item. Uh, you know what? Let's throw a boomerang in. Let's see what happens. Hello there. Did 
did you drop this? Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. I like an honest person. I will give you something better in return. Oh my gosh! She gave us the magical boomerang! You can throw this faster and farther than the old one! That was Venus, the queen of fairies. Can I just tell you that I love this song so much? It's among my favorite Zelda songs. It's called The Goddess the Piers. Huh. I wonder... Yeah, we can totally throw more stuff into it. Uh, what should we throw in? Uh, let's throw our shield in. Does the music start up? Yeah, it totally starts up again. And yes, I did throw that. And I am an honest person, yeah. And we get our shield improved. Now you can defend yourself against fireballs. This is known as the red shield. It has a little design on it, like a boomerang or something. It's pretty cool. And let me see. Yeah, we're full on fairies. If you don't, if you have an empty bottle, I highly recommend throwing your bottle into the uh, pool because she'll give you magic in return. So that's pretty nice. All right, underway now. Let's see. I think that's all we want to do, really. Oops, didn't mean to jump there. Cutting on time, yes. Yeah, whatever. It's like it's not like this video is gonna get like. Uh, yeah, actually, the first video I always upload that I'm re of my recording sessions, they always seem to record just right, and they, I that's because, of course, I know what I'm recording, and it's, the battery's not full, obviously. I do have a picture of my kitty on that camera, so I don't want to delete it yet. I could put it on my a computer, but I don't know, I just don't want to get rid of that picture of my kitty. Anyway, let's get moving, shall we? Let me see. We have the Book of Medora, and we have our boomerang. Alright, we're ready to go to... I think it's called Death Mountain, but I forget. Let's get underway. Wait, hold on, I wanna... Yeah, but by the way, if you bash into tr certain trees, they'll give you apples. And they recover you just like, uh, hearts. Well, if that wasn't obvious. But, yeah, Link eats in this game. Believe it. Okay. So, the way to get to Death Mountain is up here. Wait, hold on. Did we go over here? No, we have not. We come over here. Another heart piece. Now, I don't remember 100% where the heart pieces are, but I will be, as I'm playing, I will look at guides and try to remember, because Hey, it's an experience. I should show what I do uh, know what I'm getting, for the most part, right? Yeah, freaking crows, get out of here! Jeez. Okay, lift this. There's a crab. Okay, we're good, safe. Come in here. It's a little dark and spooky. You get that eerie cave music, and you always feel like there's footsteps behind you. Dead end. Okay, if we come up here. Hey! I don't know who you are, but if you are going to up to the mountain, will you take me with you? I lost my lab, so... Hmm, I lost old man. Okay. Let's help him out if we can. Uh, watch your step. There are holes in the ground. Could you turn right here? Young man, are you also going to the mountain to look for the golden power? Just ahead is a mountain full of monsters. Many people have vanished in this mountain while looking for the golden power. I don't want I don't want to steer you so wrong, so please don't get too involved in such a mad quest. Huh. Were we after the golden power? I forget. I think uh turn right here. You know, I have a granddaughter who is your age. Oh really? The king took her to the castle and she never returned. Oh, that's sad, I'm sorry. Kidnapping those maidens must be part of the wizard's plot. I'm sure he is trying somehow to use the power of the descendants of the wise men. Wouldn't you be a descendant of the old men? Ow. And there's light. And we escape. Oh, that was a close one. Alright, get out of my way. I need to get over here. The missing maidens are still alive somewhere. I believe that a hero will rescue them. I wait for that day. Ugh, these are dangerous times. 
I talk too much. Anyway, thank you for ki your kindness for an old man like me. Uh, I wanted to give you uh, this. If you wander into a magical transporter, gaze into this mirror. And with that, he gave you the magic mirror. This mirror is blue and clear and beautiful. I feel like it's going to absorb you into another world. Huh. Little cutscene of him going in. And we can come inside too. He's got a little shack here. It's a little dark, but in the GBA they lighted it up. The wizard has deceived the king, and now he is trying to open the way to the dark world. To complete your quest, you will need the moon pearl, which is in the tower on the top of the mountain. All I can do for you now is come for your wariness. Come back anytime. And he heals you. Alright, so, in the next episode, we are going to be climbing the mountain to get to Tower of Hera. I'm Kokerikin07, and I'll see you guys in the next one.